Welcome to Physics Dream Team Classroom, College Matrikulasi Pahang Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. We will start with measurement for single reading. The first measurement is the length of the metal rod. We will use meter rule to measure the length of metal rod. Make sure that the first end of the metal rod is parallel to the 0 cm scale. Take the measurement of the length of metal rod by reading the scale of meter rule that is parallel to the other end of metal rod. Record your reading in the table. Next, we will measure the length and width of laboratory manual. This is the length and this is the width. We will use meter rule to measure the length and width of laboratory manual. Make sure the first end of the length of laboratory manual is parallel to the 0 cm scale of meter rule. Take the measurement of the length of meter rule by reading the scale of meter rule that is parallel to the other end of laboratory manual. Record the reading in your table. Repeat the same step to measure the width of laboratory manual. Thirdly, we will measure the mass of ball bearing using electronic balance. Ensure that the electronic balance is switched on. Put the plasticine on the electronic balance. Press the button to reset the reading. When the electronic balance shown 0.00 gram, place the ball bearing on the plasticine. Record the reading shown. Next, we will do the second part of the experiment. Measurement for repeated reading. First, we will measure the diameter of the coin using vernier calipers. On vernier calipers, there are vernier scale and main scale. To measure the diameter of coin, place the coin in between the jaws. Ensure that the coin is placed at the sharp area of the jaws. For the reading, we will measure the main scale first. To obtain the main scale reading, look at the image. 2.4 cm is parallel to the 0 cm of vernier scale. Hence, the reading of main scale is 2.4 cm. To obtain the vernier scale reading, look at the image closely for an alignment of the scale line of main scale and vernier scale. In the image, the aligned line correspond to 0.02 cm of vernier scale. Hence, the vernier scale reading 
is 0.02 cm. For the final measurement reading, add the mean scale and vernier scale together. Therefore, the final reading is 2.42 cm. Repeat the same step for two more readings. Now, we will measure the diameter of the ball bearing using micrometer screw gauge. Micrometer screw gauge has two scales, vernier scale and main scale. To measure the diameter of ball bearing, place the ball bearing on the micrometer screw gauge. Turn the knob until you hear one click. To obtain the reading for the main scale, look at the image. You will see a number 15. This means the reading for main scale is 15 mm. Notice that there is an extra line below the horizontal line. This represents an additional 0.5 mm. So, the measurement for main scale is 15 plus 0.5 equals to 15.5 mm. If there is no extra line, you don't have to add 0.5 mm. Next, read the vernier scale by looking at the scale that is parallel to the horizontal line on the main scale. Hence, 0.28 mm is the reading for vernier scale. Finally, add main scale reading and vernier scale reading to obtain diameter of the ball bearing, which is 15.78 mm. Repeat the same step to get two more readings. Finally, we will measure the external diameter of glass rod using micrometer screw gauge. Repeat the same technique that you use during measuring diameter of ball bearing. Repeat this step three times to get three readings.